so the traditional view of uh, plaques and heart disease was that this was all a plumbing problem. So your blood vessels were just kind of rigid pipes and they just kind of corroded over time and just gradually blocked off. Um, what we've really come to learn is that that's not the case at all uh, and that the, um, the artery wall changes its size and shape as plaque starts to form and that one of the really major factors that drives this whole process is inflammation. So the same factors that are really important to fight infection, those types of things that we need, can actually turn against us. The same types of inflammatory cells can get into the walls of these blood vessels and in an abnormal states like diabetes and high cholesterol and high blood pressure and people who smoke um, can actually have adverse effects in the artery wall and drive that process. So a lot of the activity that we uh, undertake in our group really is focused on inflammation. We've got a lot of early cell studies trying to understand what are the factors that drive the inflammation. Um, that has important implications in terms of trying to develop new markers of heart disease, uh, new drugs for heart disease. Uh, a lot of our new imaging approaches to looking at plaque are very much focused on the idea of trying to detect the inflammation. The cyclotron's a great opportunity in particular in terms of its ability to distinguish hot from cold plaque is really fundamentally telling us uh, can we see somebody with an inflamed plaque. And then at the other end, um, as we start to develop new therapies, you know, we've got lots of cholesterol therapies and blood pressure therapies, there's a real interest in can we develop therapies that target inflammation. And so a lot of the activity that goes on in our group uh, has this underlying kind of theme of inflammation kind of as a, as a, as a major focus for uh, how we're trying to kind of advance our approaches to preventing heart disease to a greater degree.